Nice. So here we are. So this is this fives. Is MP5. Yeah. So it's a little bit more of a channel back design right. versus a muscle back. Yeah. There's quite a difference there. It's not it's not so progressive as maybe my fours from right. the back. So is there a bit more weight in this part of the club? Well, that's the main thing that the channel back lets us do is that we can keep a lot of weight down low. So yeah. it's got the thickness behind impact, but this lets us just play with a little bit weight, a weight to try to dial in kind of sweet spot where you want it. Yeah. So in the short irons, you look at kind of the wedge, you can see that the channel's really high in the blade. So there's a lot of thickness here. Yeah. And then when you get into the longer irons, the channel gets a little bit lower. So yeah. we're able to get a little bit more weight low, low in the head. Okay. So you get easier launching here and a yeah. little bit more controlled and a little bit easier to flight long iron okay. or short irons. Yeah, if you looked at them in a shop like that, mm -hmm. they'd think blade probably. Right. So that was kind of the idea is hopefully it'll appeal to the blade guy will see it on the shelf and yeah. really like that. But at the same time, it's a little bit more playable than yeah, a normal one. Definitely, yeah. Just definitely. kind of a more modern, modern approach to designing a blade. Yeah. Well, Initial like, thoughts were I could probably get get the whole set in. Well, let's let's hit them and compare them. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> so what's I mean, what's your feeling on just the shaping of it and the look from a dress or look from behind? And well, looking here, I mean, it's very elegant, and the lines and uh, the design. I like, yeah, how we've got the, the sort of almost muscle mm -hmm. look to it, um, right behind the logo, um, where you can really see us like the meat of the club. Right. Um, but putting it down, it looks to me like it's just a slightly. It's like a blade that's put on a little bit of weight. You nailed it. I mean, it is just slightly larger than the MP4. Yeah. But it's not big. It's no. still a blade. So not it's still all. very compacted a dress, but it is just a, a hair larger than the four. Yeah. And we were very cautious to, you know, with a blade, you want to keep as much mass as you can right behind impact. Yeah. So as you pointed out, you know, there's a lot of thickness right there because that's going to lead to solid feel. It's yeah. going to lead to just more control and everything. Yeah. Give them, a, give them a hit and um, mm. certainly see how they compare to my current ones. But these sort of feel quite similar to, off the face, it's quite similar to my fours. That's good. Your comment that they feel the same as the fours is a great thing because that's, you know, the blade type player and, you know, the low handicap who wants something this clean Feel is a must. You know, if you give up anything in terms of feel, you've lost that guy. Yeah, yeah. So that's a big compliment that yeah. it feels the same as the fours. Yeah. Some guys are kind of, they rely so heavily on just what Trackman says. Yeah. You know, if Trackman says this, it does this. And, you know, just take it to heart and always go with that. But it's interesting that you take it out and actually take notes throughout your different shots on the course, get miss hits and record information to really see how it performs. Yeah. I, uh, it's another area where. Yeah, you can gain on competitors. Mm -hmm. You know, if, I sort of feel if I wasn't doing that, I'd be losing out somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and it's sort of peace of mind for myself that I can stand over a shot and I know exactly what this club's going to give me. Right. And I know if I hit it in the middle of the club, it's going to go this far. And like I said, the feedback from an, a slight miss hit that I get is so precise mm -hmm. that it helps me on every single shot I hit. That's great. The feel, the precision, the feedback mm -hmm. is what I'm used to. And straight away I'm getting it. Good. From a, a, a user of blades for many years, I'll look at that in the same way that I look at my own blades now. Mm -hmm. So for me, it would be such an easy switch, but I know that, that I'm getting slightly more out of them. Right. So maybe that five yard loss from the heel shot might be a three yard loss yeah, with these. So, exactly. Which is a great thing. Yeah. Well, if anything, you know, what the channel back does is it gives you it's not more distance, but it's more consistent distance. Yeah. So you still get the you still get the blade look and the blade feedback, but when you hit that slight miss hit, it's gonna go closer to your pure distance. Yeah, exactly. And uh, distance control is a huge part of the game, as right. we know, so um, especially at our level. So, you know, the more consistency they can give me, the better. Mm -hmm. 
I think the four is probably a little squarer, the head. Um, yeah, the, the MP5 looks slightly more rounded. Um, and it does look, it does look more forgiving. I think he's, he's spot on with everything he said. It's a little, little bit longer from heel to toe on the MP5 versus the four, just a hair longer. Yeah. It's also slightly more rounded. I think you were right about that. The leading edge is a little bit more rounded. The top line, just a smidge thicker. But I mean, everything you said in terms of it looks like it just gained a little weight maybe. Yeah. You know, it's, it's slightly bigger, but you know, with that comes a good deal more forgiveness. Yeah. So it still, still holds true to a blade at a dress but it gives you a lot more out of it. Exactly, yeah. No, it's, um, I can uh, see myself with these in the bag pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs>